Hi everyone, uh, here we are with Metropole Parasol part 2 and in this part we are going to model the rest of the modeling, the model and uh, this was, this is what we have done in the first part so for this part we are going to add the walkway here above so you can see this here as well we have a uh, and can walk that on the roof that goes through the st uh, structures and so on and here inside we have also the, pa uh, the walk path as well okay so let's start with this but before that as you see here we have some extra content here that I have done in between so we will go through each of them one by one so first let's start with the walk path here so to begin with, I go to the top view and uh, I'm going to swap this image with this one because I want the uh, park where, uh, the walk path um, view from the top so I can create it easily. So for that I can come to the mode and uh, view setting and then, as I mentioned before we can position the image as we want. So I'm going to position it to the downside, so like this, so that it matches with our structure that we have done. Okay, so let me just tweak a bit, okay. Now it's okay. And now I can just turn off our timber structure and begin with the warfare. So to begin, I'm going to use a Mm, a spill line to create a spill line and I'm creating this part so if I make sure you here I'm going to create the outer part so which walkway the paths that are outside the structure so this part and then later I'm going to create the inside walkway as well and then combine them together to have a single to have a single uh, polyline so for the outside, uh, I'm going to make points. For that, I'm simply going to take the center of the park path, uh, the walk path, and going to create my points. Points like this. You don't need to be so exact. So just approximate position of the point will be okay. Like this. So, and for this stage, I'm going to have a hard interpolation of the points and not a soft interpolation. So, because later on we are going to add them to a, a subsurface, a subsurface uh, and it will be smoothed uh, anyway. So, we don't need to make them soft as a soft points. So, just Clicking the points to get the direction of the path, and that's all. So, okay, now I'm going to set the points to the right position. Some of them are not correct, okay. Okay, it seems good now, but here I think we need more points, so I'm going to add more points here. And I'm going to move them so we have a better curvature here. here and here here and here okay okay to be sure that all points are hard in the position I'm going to select all left points and click on hard in the position okay 
So now I'm coming, going to test the key and I'm going to not this, uh, I'm going to hide, uh, bring back my, our model, not the timber structure, but our subdivision before the, uh, what we have done with, uh, with uh, Varnum Fracture. So now I can just uh, go to here and drag the spin line up to something like this. Okay. And I'm going to delete the points that are extended to the roof here. So like this. And this part as well, I'm going to delete these points. No, not this one. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Now, I want to project now this, this split line on this surface. To do that, we can simply select all the points and right click and come to project here. And here in option, you can set the mode where you want it to uh, be projected. So for me, I'm going to select the XZ plane so this is the exact X Z plane, and just I come to Tools and set Apply. As you see here, it uh, it has been projected on the surface as we desire, but some points like this one is not where I want it to be. So now I need to set it manually. This point as well. This point as well. so that we have a better position of the points, like this. Like this, and we have also one point, one more point. Okay. This side seems to be okay. We come to the other side and you see we have the same problem here as well. So I'm just going to drag it a bit outward like this. To get a result like this, okay? Now, what we need now is, we don't of course need the spill line, we need a path. So for that I'm going to create a rectangle with the width I give it 30 and height I give it 0. So now I'm going to sweep and put these two inside. So we get something like this, okay? And the first thing we should do here in sweep, we should deactivate the banking because we don't need the banking here. We want something like this, okay? And the thickness is a bit too much. so. And bring it up a bit like something like this and now what I can do I can come here and in details in sweep in details I have now access to scale okay as you see in the picture this pad have a specific width that will increases here on top on top so here we have more width and here we have uh, less so to get such a result we need to speed uh, play with this scale factor here so firstly I'm going to create uh, let me make it bigger so I'm going to create a point here by holding the control key and clicking on it in the middle so in the middle means here so here's from here the speed line goes through here so the middle part is here now I'm going to select these two and I'm going to simply drag them down to get something like this, okay? And now we need to bring in also inward because we want the thickness to grow from a specific location, not from the beginning, yes? So we need to drag this inward. this two as well and this 
We can't. Play with the parameter here, so it's a bit pick and tweak again. Down like this. And we can work with the handles here. More points here, we need, they need to be a bit more extended. And I think I should bring this up to have it better thickness. And of course here in Spline, I'm going from adaptive to natural. Or no, it's not good, to uniform and increase the, the number. So we have an even distribution of the lines on the surface. So here come again. And uh, maybe I think this should go down at this point. I can play with these values. You need to put some time to get the result you want. So I can just bring this down as well so to have a better look. And this one also. Okay. Thicken it a bit here. Here. Maybe I need to narrow this one and this one as well. Okay. Okay, I think it's now good enough. Okay, now we have done this part, and I'm going to uh, make a copy of it. So I have access to this this part. I name it the walkway. Walkway. This as well. Walkway. And I'm going to select this, right click and connect object and delete. And I'm going to get rid of these tags, we don't need them. So now we have polygon made out of this sweep. So first thing I'm going to select all and uh, optimize them for the optimization. And now we need to add the inside part. For that, what I'm doing, um, uh, first I'm going to hide this subdivision surface again and also a walkway. We need to add this inside part. So this is a walkway here as well. To do that, I'm going to use a polygon and I'm repositioning it into the right place and rescale it like this. 
and now I'm going to make it editable selecting the line mode and just drag me by holding the control key and dragging it out I can do a copy of this so like this and I'm adjusting it to the right position I'm doing this again a bit of rotation here again rotation again rotation Okay, now I'm going to point mode and selecting these points. And, oh, sorry. I'm going to point mode and bring it to this part here and this one as well. Something like this. Now I can select this line and go further. This is the process we we'll do to get the form at the end. It's not a big deal. Uh, just copy the rotation and uh, rescaling the line and at the end we have something like this as you see we have done this part now if I bring it up we will go piece by piece to do that but uh, to prevent the time consumption for the tutorial I have made this uh, before so we don't need to do that I just wanted to show you how the process is so I'm going to delete this one Okay, and I'm going to activate the, the one I made. So it is, I think, in the park, uh, walk path here and walkway inside. I bring it out. I'm going to unhide it. And uh, it is here. Okay, sorry. This is it. Now, what I need to do, I need to bring it to the right position. So I'm activating now our timber structure here. And our walkway. And I name it outside. And I'm adding this one to it as well. So I can top view to see it better. like this okay now i bring it up let's see it for the other side Now I can just come to the <coughs> line mode, select the lines, and now I can just deactivate this structure for now. And I'm going to, firstly I'm going to make both as a simple speed line, so I'm selecting both and uh, go connect object and delete. Now we have a walkway polygon. So now I can, ha and now that I have this line, I can just continue to adding more polygons can increase this a bit this as well and this one I need to bring it down 
I'm going to line and enable the soft selection because I was I was I want to bring this part down. So I'm going to increase it to 30, maybe 40 or 50 maybe. Yes. And now I'm dragging this down. Okay. And now what I can do, I can come. First, I deactivate the soft selection. I can come to the polygon pen and add a polygon here. And now these two are connected. We'll do the same for the other side. I'm going to top view. Let me find it. This is it. And this is this one. I'm going to continue adding polygons so that I reach the other one. We scale it a bit. Okay. Now I can come to the here, you can select this, and again with soft selection, you can so adjust the height of the polygons. You can adjust this one, and now with the polygon pen, I can just add the polygon here as well. So now by point void select A and select all the points and optimize. So we have our path polygon. We are not done yet. So now I can just select it and drag it down a bit. Something like this. Okay. Now before we continue, I need the, this speed line edges speed, uh, for later to uh, when I want to add the guard rays. So I'm going to deactivate this one. So this is the path. It, it looks a bit complex, but as you have seen, it's not so difficult to create. I come to the line mode and by pressing UL, I'm going to select the loops. So this is one loop. Now I can come and uh, select edge to speed line. So work with speed line one. And I'm going now to select the other one. The same process, edge to speed line and name it speed line two. Now again, I need the inside one here. And uh, same process, it's just be line three, and here as well. It's just be line and point four. So we have four speed lines for our guard rays, so let me bring them out and put them in a notch. And I name it the uh, rays speed line. Okay, now I have this surface selected. I can just to come by holding the Alt key, and I can put it in a cloth surface. So I can give it a specific thickness. I don't need to add. I don't want to add the uh, subdivision surfaces, so zero. But here I can add the thickness to the to the structure. So as you see, with this method, we have uh, everywhere the same thickness on our point. But here you see we have some something is not correct here. So let's see what's the problem. 
right? Yes, as you see here, the normal is not correct here. When such a thing happens, you see here, this is probably because the normal of some first surface is not correct. So I can select it and come here, reverse normals. And now when I click it, you see it's okay done. Let's check out if we have the same problem any other way, any, anywhere else. So I'm selecting all the points, and as you see, we have more points here with the same problem. So I can do the same process to get uh, the right uh, normal alignment. So reverse normal as well again, and here as well. Reverse normals. Selecting all. Yeah, the some point that has happened. It's not a big deal, so you can just manage to collect it. Uh, reverse normals. Let me, by the work we selected, solo it out so to see it better. So as you see now, all the normals are correct. So I come out of solo mode and I activate the class. Now we have a clean class, all the surface. But I want to add it also in the subsurface here to get the smoother edges. Uh, but uh, let's, let's do that later. So maybe we don't need it at all. So now what I need, I need to make the guardrails for this path. So before that, I have uh, let me clear this. So what way? What way? Path. And I'm putting it in a well, null walkway. I put this inside so to be organized and this as well. Now, why I have created before, uh, uh, let me see here. I can put this down here. The walkway inside the quad rail. This one. I bring it out so that I can see it. I'm selecting it, I'm selling out. And as you see, I have created, I'm deactivated for now, uh, the cloner. Sorry. And as you see here, I have created this model for our uh, rail guard. It's nothing so fancy, it was a cylinder, I just um, took out the other uh, surfaces, I took this one and I extruded it back out and I put it in a cloner and the cloner, the distance is two and a half and there's 500 of them and it's in a linear mode. So what I need to do now is to align this cloner along our surface here. So our surfaces here. So, to do that, uh, firstly, I'm going to name it clone uh, guard rail, guard rail zero one because we have more guard rays, it's not just one. And now I'm um, put it in a null. So same name, guard rail. Zero, 01 I put inside I don't want any uh, layer and I can come to here where our spill lines are okay now here by selecting this null I can add a deformer here so spill line wrap okay and it says what it should be used for that matter. So firstly I'm going to add this spill line one and as you see as I do that we have something we are close to what we want okay but the, the orientation is not correct so I can go from x to minus x now looks better but you see here it's not in the right position so the problem is that I need to later well, let, let's do that now. Bring it all the spill lines are up to the right position. So let me see where it is. 
or let's go to the other view mode and for example to front and position is it like this okay but as you see the lines have uh, a bit of rotation here as you see here especially so to prevent that I can select this one I make a copy of it I put it in spline 1 and I name it ray I come again to my spline wrap and add this one as a ray and now I can select the ray and bring it up and I, as I do that you see that all the uh, <coughs> rays, guard rays are in the right position they are all to the y direction they are not rotated and everything looks okay but we need I think to bring it up more bring it up more so for that I'm going to this part and I'm going to drag this a bit up like this okay as you see now we have a really great distribution of our guard rails the clone along this path so if I make sure you also inside you have everything in the right position so it's great but we need to do that for the other side as well so the same process here uh, now we have got it one I'm going to create another one I copy it and I name it got rail 2 with the same account just this time I'm going to change this spline wrap so before that let me create also the, this one and put it as a child and rename it right uh, spline rail as well and bring it a bit up something like this okay now I'll come to the second spline wrap for the second uh, guard rail and I'm now changing the spline so like this and I'm going to change the spline rail as this one and as we do that, we have also the rails in the right position on the other side as well. So this is the best way, I think, to create this walk path. But at but just not done, still we need more. We need also here. And we need also one inside. So let me show you here so you can see better. Let's go inside the structure. And as you see, we need also one here. Okay, so I come out. The same process will go on. So rail two. This one, I make a copy, position it, position it as a child of the spin line. Spin line, say rail again. And for the fourth as well. rail and I'm going to copy this got point three go to spiller wrap and add a third one and railing here so now also in the structure we have this uh graph rails but it's not okay because we need also to I select these two to bring this a bit up as I do that it will be okay because they are here to support uh, the spill line as a ray so this should be uh, positioned in the right direction so that it knows in which direction it should uh, align the uh, curvature and the clone so now this is done okay now go to the last one so point four i come here spill and wrap and change it with number four and the rail with number four okay let's see how it looks and you see we have this here as well but as you see here the count are too much because we have a smaller uh, 
uh, speed line so we need to adjust the clone size so I go from 500 to 300 maybe let's see how it looks Hundred. Okay, seven. T. No, forty. Not too much. Forty-five. Fifty. Yes, fifty is a good value, I think. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's check out the inside one as well, so we have a better distribution of the lines on both sides. To have a good feeling about it, I'm going to this one, this part. Now, as you see here, the distance between two guard rays are less than here. So let's correct that as well. I'm going to cloner and change to 500 to 400 or 350. Yes, 350 is a good value. And as you see, as simple as that we have done the railing and the walk path here and now I can I can just add these to a non a guard rail guard rails and just put it here inside in walkway so now we have all organized and in the right position we have the walkway here the guardrails are here the path here is done and the split lines we have here so everything is organized and clean and great so now that i've done with the walkways let's add some value to this so to finish this uh, tutorial but to do that i'm going to now get rid of this one because i don't need it anymore I'm going to delete it and here we have uh, some pillars so let me turn this off okay but first before that I'm, I'm added the uh, this structure here beneath it so it's named level plus one if I may add to show you this is not so difficult this is uh, just extrusion if I may show you here if I open it we have the stairs here they are simple cloners for example this one and it is used the sub here so if I show you here I have created this subdivision here and this this is line and put it in the extrude and then I um, take it out from the stairs clone it here okay so with the boolean we get something like this the path is okay and this is about the stairs they are all the same method then i have the uh, level plus one this is a simple spill line and i extrude it up and we have the level plus one side this is the these sides this is also the same this is the spill line and i have used the for the spill line i have you before i make it ed editable i've used a sweep to sweep it and then i put it in a, a subsurface and I made it editable and I made it editable editable and uh, put it on a uh, subsurface here as you see so if I deactivated it you see that how it looks I have add some cuts here so that we have a good curvature and we have something like this and what extra what we uh, I have done this is and I have these curtain walls here in the beneath here so they are the curtain walls that are used for glass for these stores that are uh, that are here actually but uh, now this is done then we have the fences we have some fences here we have you I have used the same method as a walkway so I have created spill line along the path and I project it on the X Z plane. They are positioned here, right position. And I made one of these and cloned it and used the spill line wrap, uh, as you see here, to wrap the uh, clone along this spill line. But we'll do that also. We have just left one to do to do this together with you guys. 
So don't worry about it. So I have this fans, this one, as you see, we, I come to the point mode and I have all the points selected. Now I can come to the uh, project tool, select plane and apply. Okay, before that, before that, sorry, I need to turn off the timber structure and the walkway. So the only things that is left is this one, this is the plane and the structure here. So now the same process, clicking the right, uh, right clicking and now go to project and apply. And then as I do that, you see that all the points are projected to the right place on the exit plane. Okay. Now the only thing that is left is to do the same process here that you have done. So first, I'm going to make a copy of it. I put it as a child and name it uh, Ray. And I drag it a bit up. It serves as a railing. So now I have this cloner. Let's firstly create this uh, a null here. And I name it Fence01. And I'm going to drag this wrap here as well. Oh no, Let, let's do that here new, a new one. So by selecting the fence and holding the shift key, I'm going to add the spinner wrap here. Okay, and I'm going to copy this here as well. Let's delete this. So again, I'm going to, by selecting the fence here, I'm going to add the spin and wrap. I put it as a wrong again. By selecting the fence and shift key, I'm going to add in a, a spin and wrap here. And be sure that before that, you should take this one out. This. Okay. And now I'm going to create another null fence one, fence zero one, because I want to have these spill lines also inside, but I cannot inside put it inside the inside this one because this will affect the spill line wrap, and it, it the spill line wrap should just affect the cloner not the speed lines. Because of that, I have created another null and put all these two in this. So we have at the end, we have a null that contains our guardrail, but the spinner wrap affects just the cloner here. Okay, now what I need, I need to uh, define, uh, define what spin line I need to use. I use this one. As I drag it, you see, we get something like this, but the orientation is not correct. I need to add the railing as well. And as I put that, you see that automatically it's correct all the points and lines. And now I can just drag this a bit up to have it in the right position. So. Great. So now we have done also the railing. So you know how the process is. It was just simple. It's, look how clean it is uh, wrapped along the speed line. How the curvature looks. Okay. This was a great trick that I used so much time to learn how to do that. I hope that uh, uh, you guys enjoy it and use it for later on for your projects. So now let's continue. I have also some additional things here. Let me turn on the um, structure and I have a null here with C pillar. So I activate it. And as you see here, I have the covering here. Yes. Let's show you how they look like. Okay. I have done all except one. That <coughs> Sorry. I have them all except for one that I want to do that with you guys so you know how the process is so I come to CPLR here and I have one here okay first of all let's see what is done with the others I have 
I have this polygon, put it in the subsurface scattering, and then I give it thickness. Uh, and they have the inner part, the same as outer part. You see, you have inner part, and we have one covering outside. Okay, so the process is the same. I'm selecting this one and put it in a null and rename it C pillar point three. Okay, now which one is it? It is this one. Okay, let's adjust it. I give it more radius here. Okay, twenty maybe twenty one and a half. Let's turn around and see. No, I think 22 is a good value. We need to position it in the right place so the thickness is all the same, all sides, as here as well. Okay, now I can come to the cap here. I can deactivate the cap, I don't need the cap here. And I'm going to uh, point mode. Uh, before that, I'm going to make it editable and make a copy of it. I name it inner and I name it this one outer. So let's turn uh, this one off and just work with this one. And I'm going to point mode. I'm selecting uh, these two points. And move tool. I'm going to enable the sub uh, the, uh, the sub selection. I'm reducing the radius, and I'm dragging this down like this. And I'm do the same here. I select these two points and drag them off. We have something like this. Okay. Now I put this one in the subsurface. Okay, as we have this clean one. And I put the subsurface in a cloud object. In cloud, we don't need any subdivision, but we need thickness. So I give it a value minus four. Okay, this looks okay. Now for the inner part, I'm going to now, for the outer part, I'm going to unhide it. So, and I'm going to increase the radius. I'm going to rescale it, bring it down a bit, okay, and we, I'm doing the same process, so I'm selecting this one, and let me select the other side as well, I'm bringing this bit up, I'm selecting this one, and bring it bit down, So, now let me solder it out. Okay, I'm going to surface UL. I'm going to select these. And I'm going just to delete this. I don't need them. And here I need to add more points. Let me unhide this. Or UL, select this one. I come to line mode and with MO I'm going to drag it up like this. And I'm going to add some points here. Well let's 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 drag this and use this one as well. So I'm going to point mode and I'm Adjusting these ones, these points. Like this. Okay. It doesn't need to be 
really precise you can because I just want to add this curvature here so you will see soon what I mean with that okay now I'm going to make another loop here here adding more loops let's go solid it out and see how it looks okay and I'm going to UL select this one I'm in line mode of course and I'm going to move it up but let's reduce this one 25 and move this up Okay, so now let's adjust it a bit. Let's bring it here. Now, what I want to do, I want to go to scale. And as you see here, the surface, I'm going to reduce it to 20. And rescale it in XZ direction. It doesn't look good at all because of the distribution of the points. So I need to go to solid it out and look at here we don't have we have some issues here so let me firstly deactivate this up this one and adjust this point as well so they are good distributed I bring this one down this one down and check out the other ones you see here this should come up a bit. selected now try to use this one yes now it looks much much better okay and select this bring it up no, this looks okay. What is nef now left to do is to put it in a subsurface to get the clean and smooth edges and put them at last in the cloth surface. I named this one inner and named this one outer. And uh, the thickness, I think I give it minus 3 and I don't need any subdivisions, okay. And of course I need to bring it down a bit. Or I put it here and I bring this one a bit up. It's also possible. So, now the carving is also done. 
And as you see, we have uh, covered all the aspects of this project. We have the guardrails, we have this pot walk pads, we have these pillars and the fences and so on. And this stage, uh, we are done with the tutorial. I hope that you have learned a lot. And please uh, put your uh, what your suggestion and what uh, your idea and what you think about it in the comments. And this will help us to uh, make better tutorials in the future. Please subscribe, subscribe to our channel uh, to get informed about our new uh, future tutorials and stuff we put here. And like the tutorial if you liked it or just like if you didn't like it. That will support us and help us to create better uh, tutorials in the future for you guys. And let me bring this down also a bit. Yes. Like this. Okay. Okay. And uh, I wish you all a good day. And I hope that you liked our tutorial. See you soon in the next tutorials and uh, goodbye.